now we're getting into groups. We're to gonna... do what? Actually, I really don't know. She hasn't quite told us yet. <laughs> Probably something very interesting and fun. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to build amoeba. So what I want you to do right now in your group is just pick out the smallest and the lightest person in your group. Would you do that right now? Go. Uh, we're about to make an amoeba and pick up Scott, otherwise known as Sydney. And hopefully not drop her. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm not on. Together. Okay. Walk away from the group closest to us. So that's my left. That's not very helpful, but. We're gonna go but... towards this building over here. Oh, see that way. Okay, and Stop. everybody do your dismount. Let's see your dismount. Let's see Three, two, one. Yay! Excellent! teamwork exercise to see if we could use just three pieces of wood and a rope to get 15 people across those blocks of wood over there. And it requires lots of skill, lots of patience, especially when three of the people are blindfolded. And it definitely builds character, it definitely builds teamwork, and it builds a sense of trust among the other people. It's a little scary at first because, I mean, you can't see anything, you can't really do anything on your own, you have to have somebody there for you. And for somebody to be there for you and just to help you through it all, it's kind of magical even because you then realize you have somebody there for you. Oh, don't let it don't go back! Don't let it go back! Don't let it go back! Don't let it go back! Grab the middle! Grab the middle! Grab the middle! mistakes we had the points where people fell off and we dropped it but you know we we were good sports and we went back and we started so you know 